Hey, Salome here. So today I wanted to film Top 5 Wednesdays, and Top 5 Wednesday was created by Lainey over on Ginger Eats Lainey, but now it's being hosted by Sam from Thoughts on Tomes. And I'm gonna have everything linked down below just in case you're interested in checking it out. And today's topic for discussion is characters you used to like but don't anymore. Now, I have to say, I have a couple of characters that I'm gonna take from both books and movies just because I couldn't think about a lot of characters from books. But let's get into this list. None of these characters are in any particular order, but the first one that I'm going to mention is from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and he is Grant Ward. I have to admit that I started off liking him in the first series and then as certain things started to transpire, I just continued to hate him so much, especially that twist that he had as a character was something that I was like, no. I mean, you couldn't tell when this man was, was lying and when he was telling the truth and it was something that was so annoying to me at times and I was just like, I hate you I started out liking you and I can't believe that now I just dislike you and it's something that was a little bit painful for me because I was like damn I really liked you as a character and now I just can't stand you I just want you to be killed off but I have to admit I am a little bit behind on season two but they have told me that some things transpire and I'm just like so I don't know we'll see how everything turns out but as of right now he's a character that I just cannot stand anymore the next character that I'm gonna mention I'm gonna take him out from a movie and I have to admit that in the first movie he was a worthy adversary for the main character or the main protagonist and I appreciated him and I loved him so much but then the second movie came out and then the third one I was like oh my god can you stop multiplying yourself and the one I'm gonna talk about is Agent Smith from The Matrix I like I mentioned loved him in the first one were the adversary and then it was like the man just cloned himself so much that I'm like can you just like stop already cuz like damn cuz there were some things that he was doing that I was like no 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 but I enjoyed it and I appreciate it a lot next one that I want to mention I'm gonna take him out from a TV series but I cannot compare him to the books because I have not read the books and the one that I'm mentioning is from under the dome and he is big Jim oh my god I somewhat liked him in the first couple of episodes and then he just went downhill. I just hated him so much and I was rooting for his demise so badly because the things that he was doing was like, can't anybody else just, just punch him in the face, lock him up in a, in a box where nobody can see him. And then he was like, he was trying to redeem himself. But you know what? It's like, if you turn around, he'll take the knife and he'll stab you in the back. And it was like, he was a character that was just annoying afterwards and I just wanted him to be over with. The next character that I'm going to mention, I'm going to mention from the Fallen Kingdom series and he is Magnus Demora. One thing that really does tick me off about this character is like he wants to be a shadow of his father. He is one character that I'm going to mention because I, I, I do appreciate him but then as the series transpired he really did tick me off because it's like he doesn't decide himself as to who he wants to be and I really do not want him to be a shadow of his father. I want him to be his own man, I want him to be his own person and to see things as they are and to stand up for himself. That's all I want from him. I have two honorable mentions but I'm going to take them from TV series because I have not read the books and I don't know how well they are written in books so I'm going to base this off of the TV series and these two characters are Bellamy Blake and Jasper Jordan. I enjoyed these characters in the first episodes. I really loved them. They were such great characters and the way everything that they did and everything that they fought for was very beautiful i again i admit that i understand what jasper went through but damn stop i was about to say a bad word but I was, i'm not gonna say it but i was like stop being such an idiot the number one character that i'm going to mention is from the throne of glass series and she is selena sardothian i have to admit that i i enjoyed her character in the first books but as i progressed with the series she just dwindled for me and I am very conflicted with this series. I have a love-hate relationship with it. Um, she just started to annoy the crap out of me. Like, you know, and it's something that I've mentioned a lot on my channel. Like, she's always saying, oh, that was a careless mistake. Oh, but that was another careless mistake and it won't happen again. And like four pages further on in the story, she commits another careless mistake. It's annoying to read about, especially from an assassin. And I'm going to mention her because even though, like I mentioned, I really did start liking her, she went downhill for me and I don't know, I am going to read Queen of Shadow so let's see how that turns out and I'm going to continue in the series but that's it. I don't want to know anything else about Selena Sardothian because she is a character or whatever the hell you want to call her now because I know she has a different name and I know that she had a, a different name since this book because there are hints of it in this book. Well, that's it for my list. Those are all the characters that I used to love but don't anymore. I don't think I can think about anymore, but as I continue to reading, maybe more will spring up. But that's it for my video. I wanna thank you for watching. If you wanna tell me yours down below, feel free, we'll chit chat. But until next time.